Good morning. Our opening song is number 493, We Remember. We remember how you loved us to your death, and still we celebrate, for you are with us here. And we believe that we will see you when you come in your glory, Lord. We remember, we celebrate, we believe. Here a million wounded souls are yearning just to touch you and be healed. Gather all your people and hold them to your heart. We remember how you loved us to your death, and still we celebrate, for you are with us here. And we believe that we will see you when you come. In your glory, Lord, we remember, we celebrate, we believe. Now we recreate your love. We bring the bread and wine to share a meal. Sign of grace and mercy and presence of the Lord. We remember how you loved us to your death. And still we celebrate, for you are with us here. And we believe that we will see you when you come in your glory, Lord. We remember, we celebrate, we believe. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of God our Father, the love of Jesus, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Today we come to celebrate the feast of Mary Magdalene, who was... Um, uh, freed of the demons that possessed her, and she became a very close follower of Jesus. She was at the cross uh, when he died and helped bury him, and then she was the first to witness his resurrection. So as we gather, let us call to mind our sins as we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of her Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. <coughs> o God, whose only begotten Son, Jesus, entrusted Mary Magdalene before all others with announcing the great joy of the resurrection, 
grant, we pray, that through her intercession and example, we may proclaim the living Christ and come to see him reigning in your glory, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. The first reading is a reading of Song of Songs. The bride says, on my bed at night, I sought him whom my heart loves. I sought him, but I did not find him. I will rise then and go about the city. In the streets and crossings, I will seek him whom my heart loves. I sought him, but I did not find him. The watchman came upon me as they made their rounds of the city. Have you seen him whom my heart loves? I had hardly left them when I found him whom my heart loves. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm, my soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. O God, you are my God whom I seek. For you my flesh pines and my soul thirsts. Like the earth parched, lifeless, and without water. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. Thus have I gazed towards you in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory. For your kindness is a greater good than life. My lips shall glorify you. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. Thus will I bless you while I live. Lifting up my hands, I will call upon your name. And with the riches of a banquet shall my soul be satisfied. And with exultant lips, my mouth shall praise you. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord, my, Lord God. my God. You are my help, and in the shadow of your wings I shout for joy. My soul clings fast to you. Your right hand upholds me. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord, my God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Tell us, Mary, what did you see on the way? I saw the glory of the risen Christ. I saw his empty tomb. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. On the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb early in the morning while it was still dark and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them, they have taken the Lord from the tomb and we don't know where they put him. Mary stayed outside the tomb weeping and as she wept, she bent over into the tomb and saw two angels in white sitting there one at the head and one at the feet, where the body of Jesus had been. And they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? <clears throat> she said to them, They have taken my Lord, and I don't know where they laid him. When she had said this, she turned around 
and saw Jesus there, but did not know it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? She thought it was the gardener, and said to him, Sir, if you carried him away, tell me where you laid him, and I will take him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Stop holding on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and tell them, I am going to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, and then reported what he told her. The Gospel of the Lord. In our readings for today, there's a great deal of seeking. Mary Magdalene seeks the Lord, asking where they have put him. We find the Song of Songs speaking for all of us on our quest for the Lord. When it says, I sought him, but did not find him. I sought him, but I did not find him. Have you seen him where my heart seen him whom my heart loves. But then I have hardly left them when I found him whom my heart loves. It is that searching that we really need to see as a part of the spiritual life. We need to seek the Lord. We may think it is easy, but it is not. It is a lifetime quest to find the Lord in all of the different situations that are a part of our lives so that we know that we are supported, we know that we are strengthened by the Lord in the great challenges of our life. And so we need to really be a person of prayer. It starts there, that we seek from our heart or our soul, as our reading says, to search for the Lord and to find him in those quiet moments of reflection and to be strengthened in our faith so that when we encounter challenge, when our faith is weakened, we may trust that the Lord is with us and strengthening us in his own way So may we continue to always seek the Lord, not see it as a situation of not finding, but a situation of continuing to explore where the Lord is and how we are growing in our faith as disciples of the Lord. May we place our intentions before the Lord our God as we pray. We pray for all seekers of the Lord, that the Lord will truly reveal himself to them and strengthen their faith. We pray to the Lord. For the continued healing of Pope Francis, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that disciples truly may continue to proclaim the gospel, that Jesus may be revealed to others, we pray to the Lord. We pray for all of those who are suffering the loss of their loved ones, that Jesus will strengthen them, we pray to the Lord. We pray for our children who are involved in our Bible school this week, that they may come to discover Jesus in new ways, we pray to the Lord. 
we pause to add our own intentions in silence. We pray to the Lord. And we pray for all who have died, especially for the deceased members of the Francis and Joyce Hireman family. We pray to the Lord. Loving and gracious God, we place our lives into your hands, asking that you truly reveal yourself to us and protect us from all of our broken ways. We ask our prayer through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, so will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Heavenly Father. <laughs> Accept, O Lord, the offerings presented in commemoration of St. Mary Magdalene, whose homage of clarity was graciously accepted by your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled their great example lends us courage their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do and so lord with all the angels and saints we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim holy Holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <coughs> now, 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and David our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <coughs> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. <coughs> the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Lamb of God,
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May the holy reception of your mysteries, Lord, instill in us that persevering love with which St. Mary Magdalene clung resolutely to Christ, her Master, who lives and reigns forever and ever. May we pray for our seminarian, Nathan Booty. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And may we say the prayer to St. Joseph. Good St. Joseph, as you led the Holy Family, watch over our families. Help our family and all families to know and share God's love. In our family relationships, may we find healing and seek to be holy. May our fathers help us to become faithful disciples of Jesus who share our love for him. As foster father of Jesus, watch over all who serve as spiritual fathers. In a special way, bless our Holy Father, our bishop, and our priests. May they follow your humble example and their fatherly care for the people of God, the Church. With Mary, you raised Jesus the high priest. You know our need for priests. Please raise up good and holy priests from our families to serve the people of our diocese. May our children and grandchildren hear and say yes to the call of Jesus, just as you and Mary did. Good St. Joseph, pray for us. The prayer to St. Michael. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and the other evil spirits who prowl about the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, go forth in peace to love and serve the Lord. <coughs> Our closing song is number 493, verse 3. We remember how you loved us, to your death and we celebrate for you are with us here and we believe that we will see you when you come in your glory lord we remember we celebrate we believe christ the father's great amen to all the hopes and dreams of every heart. Peace beyond all telling and freedom from all fear. We remember how you loved us to your death and still we celebrate for you are with us here and we believe that we will see you when you come. In your glory, Lord, we remember, we celebrate, we believe.